If you've been trying to collect email addresses or maybe sell a product like an online course or a membership program, and you're just not getting as many signups as you hoped, then it's time to do a little A-B testing. In this video, you'll learn about five simple A-B tests you can run to boost your landing page conversions, and be sure to watch to the end for our very best tip on how to keep those conversions going higher and higher. Hi, I'm Christine with Thrive Fiends. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, here is your friendly reminder to do so. And if you ring the bell, you'll be notified when we publish new videos. So landing pages are standalone pages that you might use to offer a free lead magnet and people would receive that lead magnet by signing up for your email list. Or you might use a landing page for something like a webinar signup page or as a sales page for your online course or membership. A-B testing is a tried and true method of finding out what elements on your landing page resonate with your audience and then convince them to sign up. If you're not familiar with A-B testing, it's when you create two or more variations of a landing page and they should all be slightly different in some way. Those ways are what we'll be talking about in this video. And then when people view your landing page, they'll be shown one of those variations at random. Thrive Optimize, which is our A-B testing plugin that comes with Thrive Architect, will keep track of conversions. And then after enough time and after enough people convert, you'll be able to see which variation converts best. So A-B testing is really useful to make sure you're getting as many email list and webinar signups as possible and as many sales as possible, because you never know what small detail people are seeing that might be a turnoff for them. Now, the alternative to A-B testing is you could simply just make a change on your landing page and see if conversions go down or up, but that requires tracking manually and it's a lot more hassle than just setting up a quick A-B test. And of course, the benefit to doing an A-B test is that it's scientific, so you'll get actual numbers and data and it's pretty set it and forget it. All right, so let's dive into the five simple A-B tests to run on your Thrive Architect landing pages. Number one, test your headline. Now here at Thrive Themes, we are big proponents of a benefit-driven headline. For example, a benefit-driven headline is something like get your first 1000 email list subscribers. It describes the benefit people will hopefully get by opting into your lead magnet or signing up for your course, etc. A non-benefit-driven headline is something like the best email tips. The thing is, audiences can be pretty surprising. You never really know what people will respond better to, and so that's why it's always a good idea to A-B test headlines. And in fact, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. What we do here at Thrive Themes is write 10 headlines, pick the best two, and then test those. Now, testing a headline is really very easy. I've got a landing page here, and I'll show you the process of starting an A-B test using this example so that you can see how easy it is. For the rest of the examples, we'll skip that since you'll already know how to do it. All right, so I'll go to the Create New Test button, and then I'll go ahead and duplicate this variation. Now, if I were to add a new variation, that would essentially mean that I would have to start this page from scratch. What I want to do is keep my current customizations. So I'll go ahead and duplicate this. And that creates an exact copy of my current variation. Then I'll go ahead and edit my new one. To edit the headline, simply click on the text element and start typing. And then when you're finished making your customizations, click save your work, and then go back to your A-B test. All right, so we have our two variations here. Let's go ahead and click set up and start A-B test. Let's go ahead and give this test a name. If you like, you can enable automatic winner settings. This means that when these conditions are met, a winner will be chosen and all remaining traffic will be sent to the winning variation. Let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and set the goal of the test. For us, our goal is more subscriptions. And let's go ahead and click start A-B test. All right, so our A-B test is running. We are currently in the WordPress backend for this page. And if you scroll down, you'll see that here you have your Thrive Optimize A-B test overview, which has all of the stats for your current test. Next, test your call to action. A call to action is a phrase that tells your audience what you want them to do, and it's generally seen as text on a button. For example, on a lead generation page where you're offering a free lead magnet, your call to action might be download now or get your free guide. If you're offering a product, your call to action might be order now or enroll now. 
You can even add urgency to your call to action by saying enroll now before the price goes up. Now, a good call to action usually involves a verb that commands your audience to take action. So something like submit on a button is generally not considered to be a great call to action. But again, you can find out for sure by A-B testing. So I'll show you just how easy it is to change your call to action. I've got a landing page variation here, and I'll simply click on the text I want to change. Make sure that inline text is highlighted in the breadcrumbs. Then I'll simply go ahead and start typing. Now, if you're creating your page from scratch and you need to add a call to action section for your landing page, Thrive Architect also comes with the call to action element. So I'll simply go to the add element button and I'll search for the call to action element and I'll simply click and drag that into place. And as you can see, this element has plenty of templates to choose from. Now there's also call to action blocks. So let's get rid of this. And to add a block to your page, you can simply click on the blue plus sign between sections, or you can go to the add element button and click and drag the block element into place. Now there are several different types of blocks to choose from. We are interested in the call to action blocks. And then to add one of these to your page, simply click on it. And then you can make your customizations. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is that this block automatically updated its colors to match the rest of the page, thanks to the smart color technology that comes with Thrive Architect. Next, if your landing page contains images, you can test the images on the page. Now you might be wondering, will changing an image actually help? Because an image doesn't really add much substance to a page. But indeed, images can actually have a huge effect on conversions. And that's because images aren't just there for decoration, they're also there to help build an overall feel of the brand, and they're one of the many trust signals on your page. So for example, if you're selling an online course, a photo of the instructor could make a huge difference so that people know there's an actual person who stands behind that product. Or let's say you're selling a physical product, you can test displaying an image of the product versus someone using the product. Or let's say you're trying to get leads, you can test an image of the cover of your lead magnet versus a stock photo. Now, when you insert images in Thrive Architect, don't forget about the image styles and image effects that will let you edit your images without the need for Photoshop. So I've got this image here on this page and let's go to the main options tab. And then let's go to image style. And here you can see a variety of different styles that you can add to this image. For now, let's choose this one. And then if we go to image effects, you can change things like grayscale, opacity, brightness, and contrast without the need for Photoshop. Next, you can test with and without testimonials. So testimonials can sometimes be a little daunting because it can feel a little uncomfortable to ask people for them. That's why in Thrive Ovation, which is our testimonial plugin, we've made it as painless as possible to capture testimonials and display them on your website. But is it really worth it to go through the trouble to get testimonials? Generally speaking, we think it is. In fact, simply adding testimonials boosted the conversion rate of one of our own landing pages by 25%. Imagine that your last online course did $100,000 in sales. A 25% increase in conversions means an extra $25,000. That is a lot of money to leave on the table. So testimonials are definitely something to A-B test. We'll be sure to link that post so you can read all of the details. Now there's a few different ways to add testimonials to your landing page. First, you can use Thrive Ovation, which is our testimonial plugin, which will help you capture and display testimonials. We do have a video on Thrive Ovation, which we will link for you. You can also use the testimonial element that comes with Thrive Architect. To use that element, simply go to the add element button, search for the testimonial element. Under building blocks, click and drag the testimonial element to where you want it on the page. As you can see, there are several different templates to choose from. Let's go ahead and use this one. And from here, you can make your own customizations. You can also add testimonial blocks. So to do that, you can click on the blue plus sign between sections, or you can go to the add element button and click and drag the block into place. And let's go ahead and look at all of the testimonial blocks. As you can see, there are several templates again to choose from. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And here is our testimonial block. So as you can see, it's really easy to add testimonials to your landing page. 
Next, you can test the copy on your landing page. So if your landing page isn't converting, sometimes it's just a matter of tweaking the copy so that it resonates better with your audience. And if you're not sure what to write or how to structure your copy, Thrive Architect comes with several landing page templates for sales pages, lead generation pages, and more. And even the content is somewhat pre-filled in so you know what copy goes where. Really quickly, I'll show you where to access those. So I've just created a new landing page, then I'll go to Thrive Architect. And let's go to pre-built landing page. And here you'll find all of the available landing page sets. So for example, let's choose the Hydrogen Smart set. And here are all of the templates that come with the Hydrogen Smart set. You can also use the list on the left to search for the exact type of page you're looking for. I'll go ahead and choose this one. Now, after you choose a landing page template, you might still need to add additional sections, so you can simply add blocks. I'll go ahead and go to the blue plus sign to add a block. And as you've seen before, there are lots of different block types to choose from. Since we're talking about copy, let's go ahead and look at the text and content blocks. Again, there's several different designs to choose from. Let's go ahead and use this one. And then you can go ahead and make your customizations. Now, some final thoughts before I let you go. You can certainly change as much or as little as you want between your A-B test variations, but keep in mind that if you change multiple things, like if you change the headline, the image, and the call to action all on one variation, then when you get your A-B test results, you won't know which of those three things had the biggest influence on conversions. And to some degree, that's fine. You just run with the winning variation but it might be helpful to know exactly which of those three things made the biggest impact so that you can apply that strategy to the rest of your landing pages. So it might be best to just change one thing per variation in order to pinpoint exactly what had the biggest impact. Now, if you want to keep your conversion rates going up and up and up, here is our best tip. Always be testing. So for your first test, you might test a different headline once a winner emerges, you can run another test and this time test different calls to action. And once you see a winner for that, you can run another test. You can try adding more testimonials. And so over time, you'll see your conversion rates go up. Now, of course, there will be times when trying something new doesn't help your conversion rates, but if you've never tested, then you'll never have that piece of knowledge. So keep going with your A-B tests and don't be afraid to try new things because you never really know exactly how your audience is going to react. All right, so those are some simple landing page A-B tests you can run. Which one are you going to try first or which changes to your landing pages have made the biggest impact? Let us know down in the comments. You can get Thrive Architect and Thrive Optimize along with the rest of our tools when you purchase Thrive Suite. Click the link in the description to learn more. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. What?